So I've been working on my Honda CT90 1968 uh, engine here. Uh, everything's kind of disassembled, but I've been having trouble removing the valve. I got one out, but I still need to. They're they're looking pretty grody, but I don't have a valve spring compressor. And I uh, looked online for one, and they range from 30 to 61 dollars which I don't really want to spend. So this is a small engine. I figured I could do it myself. I have to compress the springs in back here. And I figured I could just invent one all by myself. So I'll tell you what I came up with and maybe you could use this yourself. What I've come up with is uh, just a nice little vise big enough to uh, install uh, and uh, go around the head here. And then I just carved out with a handsaw this little piece of wood. And I made it into a fork shape. So here's the back end of the valve. And here's the spring inside here. And just enough to straddle um, uh, the top of the spring to compress. And this is not the easiest procedure, but it is cheap. And so you just, on the back end, you just put kind of Put, put the vise uh, on, on the head itself. You might, um, depending on its condition, this, this one's pretty grody, so I don't really care if it gets damaged. Um, you could put a little pad there. And then you just put this on the front end and very carefully just screw the vise in and then make sure that it's straddled and you can see let's go ahead and zoom in here as I screw it is compressing the spring hopefully it won't fall off it's about to fall off now let me back up ok there we go and it compresses the spring just like that and you have to hold it tight because it could slip off but again it's cheap and I just have a magnet here take out the little braces I can get this back one Take out the braces and then unscrew carefully. And then it comes all the way out. And then there is the valve. There you go, my homemade valve screw valve spring compressor. Thank you very much. Oh. I filmed.